Hello, grade 9 students. This time, let us learn how to solve quadratic equations by factoring. So, in this topic, we will apply the zero product property, which states that for any real numbers, A and B, if A, B equals zero, then either A is equal to zero and B is equal to zero, or both. Okay? That is what we call the zero product property. In this first example, the equation is already factored, and is z equal to zero. To solve, simply set the individual factors equal to zero. Okay. We have here x plus three times quantity two x minus one equals zero. So this means that using a, using the zero product property, uh, we can equate x plus three to zero or two x minus one equals zero. And thus by solving, x equals negative three or 2x equals 1, transpose, transpose natin yung negative 1, so positive 1, transpose 3, negative 3. Then we can still simplify this, divide both sides by 2, that's equal to 1 half. So these are actually the solution set, negative 3 and 1 half. So the solutions are negative 3 and 1 half. Let's proceed to the next. In this example, you must first factor the equation. Notice the familiar pattern. After factoring, set the individual factors equal to 0. 9x squared minus 4 equals 0. Okay, how do we solve this by factoring? Factor using difference of 2 squares. So 3x plus 2, 3x minus 2, right? 3x plus 2, get the square root of 9x squared, 3x. Square root of 4 is 2, then add plus and minus. So 3x plus 2 times quantity 3x minus 2 equals 0 by zero product property. 3x plus 2 equals 0 or 3x minus 2 equals 0, then let's solve. 3x equals negative 2 or 3x equals 2. Divide both sides by 3. So x is either negative 2 thirds or positive 2 thirds. Positive and negative 2 thirds. Next, in the next example, you must set the equation equal to 0 before factoring. Then set individual factors equal to 0 and solve x squared minus 27 equals 6x. First, transpose 6x. x squared minus 6x minus 6x minus 27 equals 0. x minus, okay, factor natin to. Negative 27. What are the factors of negative 27 that will give a sum of negative 6? So, yun. Minus 9 and negative 9 and positive 3. Because negative 9 times 3 is negative 27, and negative 9 plus 3 is negative 6, right? So, yun. That is how we factor this kind of trinomial. So, by applying the zero product property, x minus 9 equals 0, or x plus 3 equals 0. Then, therefore, x is equal to 9, or x equals negative 3. Then, yung answer, 9 and negative 3. Next, rewrite this example in the proper form. Notice that the leading coefficient is not 1. Use an appropriate factoring technique, then solve as you have done before. 2x squared minus 3 equals negative 5x. So, ito, transpose natin, magiging 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. So, here, this can be done by trial and error. Okay, 2x minus 1 times x plus 3. So, dapat 2x times x is 2x squared. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Then now we get 5. Ito naman. 2 times 3 is 6x minus plus negative 1 times x is negative x. So 6x minus x is 5x. Yun. So this can be solved by trial and error. Pwede mong interchange. Okay. First, dapat yung nilagay mo dito 2x and x. Then ito na. What are the factors of negative 3? You can either put here 3 and 1. You then, you just change the position. Pwede mong pagpalit. Pwede change the sign until you come up with positive 5. Okay? Na-answer ganun. No? 6x minus x is 5x. So, zero product property, 2x minus 1 equals 0 or x plus 3 equals 0. So, transpose negative 1, mag magiging 2x equals 1. By both sides by 2, magiging 1 half. And transpose 3, negative 3. This one uses a different technique than the previous ones. Really, this is something you should consider at the beginning of every factoring problem. See if you can solve it. 2x squared plus 8x equals 0. Okay, wala siyang constant term. 
So, how do we solve this? Since there is a common factor between 2x squared and 8x, which is x, then that will have, that will have, that, that is what you're going to do, which is 2x, yung, yung common factor pala, 2x. 2x squared divided by 2x is x. 8x divided by 2x is 4. So, yun, 2x times quantity x plus 4. Then, you can now apply the zero product property. Yes. 2x equals 0 and x plus 4 equals 0. So, x equals 0 and x equals negative 4. Bakit 0 yan? Because 0 divided by 2 is 0. 0 and negative 4 are the solution. Now, try several problems. Write this on your own paper, showing all steps carefully. Okay? You can screenshot this part and try to send me your answer in the Facebook Messenger. Yeah, number 1, 3y minus 5 times 2y plus 7 equals 0. Number 2, x squared plus x equals 12. Number 3, d squared minus 5d equals 0. Number 4, 4c four squared equals 25. And number 5, 18u squared minus 1 equals 3u. 3u. So, after completion, click here. So, here are the answers. For help, click on the numbers. Okay, these are the answers. You can screenshot this. You can screenshot this. And then what you're going to send to me are the solution. Okay, ito na yung answer. Pero what's the solution? Right? Okay, and screenshot mo to. Answer dito. So if you are all correct, you're finished. Congratulations, 100%. Ito naman. Ah, dito na yung solution. Okay. You can screenshot the solution here. For number 1. This is for number 2. Number 1, the solution, 5 thirds and negative 7 ups. Number 2, solutions, negative 4 and positive 3. Notice that negative 12 factors are 4 and negative 3 whose sum is positive 1. And here, yes, D is the common factor. So, 0 and 5. And here you can, uh, yes. Ano to? Difference of 2 squares. So, 2C plus 5, 2C minus 5. Negative 5 halves and positive 5 halves. Dito naman, yan. Uh, ano to? Trial and error method. 6U plus 1, 3U minus 1. So, that 6, uh, negative 6 plus 3, three eh, 3U is my negative 3. So the answer is negative one six and one third. Okay, you can screenshot this. That ends our lesson on factoring. Thank you. I hope you have learned something. Goodbye and have a nice day.